put on and we should be done, man. This should actually be uh, <laughs> installed, actually went according to plan. Cause y'all know sometimes I'll be doing stuff and stuff gonna be lined up, but we should be done, right? We should be done. So hope it goes plan. All right guys, I got a face pack now. It's time for me to face pack. I ain't gonna work on this rest of the day, man. I'm done. The car's gonna stay like this. what is going on welcome back to the video welcome back to the channel i should say if you are new to the channel man just thank y'all for even tapping in and tuning in to this video uh make sure you you know subscribe to your channel once you're around for the long haul we do a lot of car related things on this channel and you're in the right place with car stuff uh we do like we go to car meets we do some car talk things like that and we also do car mods as well which is what we got going on today in this video uh so thank you guys for if you're tuning in for the first time if you are returning and been supporting me I want to thank you guys as well for checking out another video and keep rocking with me on this youtube thing uh we're gonna keep this thing going keep this thing growing and we're gonna do that with you guys here so thank you thank you thank you we're not gonna hold you too long we're gonna go ahead and get into today's video you see the title you see the thumbnail so i got another mom due to the car and and if you checked out my last video you know the last video we went ahead we got the thing tenant we got the tail lights tenant um with the lux tent kit so that is looking all clean on the back there we also did the side markers on the previous video but today we have yet another mod we're going to be taking care of and it's in this box right here and if you've been looking at my community page you know that i know a lot of y'all been in my uh in the comments on my community page telling me what i should be doing and what i need to do to the car now keep in mind i'm gonna do whatever i want to do to the car but Sometimes we're all thinking the same. That there's something I was gonna do to the car. So it, it is in this box what we're gonna do. Some of you may know, some of you may know, may not know, but I'm gonna show you what's in the box. We're gonna get this installed today. So uh, I'm not gonna hold you too, too long. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get into the box here real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this box here so we can do this thing with one hand. Let's go ahead and do that number there. And some of y'all might know what we're working with. We're gonna pull it out. So yes, here we go. It is, yes, I finally got a diffuser for the car because it definitely needed it for sure. Now, so this one I got here, let me pull that down. So with this one, we did go with the, the gloss black diffuser for this car. Now, um, this is from Icon Motorsports. I know a lot of people tend to get this one. I will drop the Amazon link below. So make sure if you want one, you can get one for yourself. But if you don't want the gloss black, you do have two of the options. They do have kind of like a matte black, which is, let me show you the matte black one, which is gonna be similar to the one that's kind of on the car like that and they also have a carbon fiber so the reason i didn't go with those two uh the matte black one it kind of would look like that um and i didn't want the one that looks kind of like the factory one and also the carbon fiber one to be honest if you do carbon fiber on this part you probably should do carbon fiber on your other parts as well and i was not ready to fully commit to full carbon fiber on everything else so uh especially my trim piece and stuff like that so that's why i want the gloss black because i feel like the gloss black will go with everything. So as I stated in my previous video, I know a lot of people do this mod and things like that. I mean, to be honest, um, it's not too many different cosmetic mods you can do to these cars. I mean, you know, it is what it is. Now, as far as the different type of diffusers, I went with that one because first off, I felt like that fuser kind of fits the car a little bit better, kind of makes it, it's kind of a more of a factory look versus the diffuser that you bolt onto the bottom of the car. We're gonna get that installed today. And uh, I'm gonna, show you how i'm gonna do it and things like that i know everybody knows how to do this mod if you have not done it before i'll walk you through it as i'm doing this not really a how-to video this is more so just bring you along the journey of showing you the mods i do to my car so you can see step by step what i'm doing to my car and maybe give you some ideas to do to yours and, and whatnot so not going to hold you too long let's go ahead and start this whole process and, and i'm tripping guys i know if you saw the last video you got the cold start in but this is your first video checking me out you didn't get the cold start of the car, so I'm gonna give you the cold start. Now it's not gonna be a cold start because the car's been sitting here in the hot, blazing sun or whatnot for a little bit. So it's not gonna be that cold, but I'm gonna still give you all that, uh, that start up anyway. So let's get it. All 
right, so to do this, you're gonna need like a 9 30 second here, um, bolt, socket, whatever you need right here, because you're gonna have a few of those right there to take out. Plus, you got this little push pin on the end to pop out as well. So, uh, of course, since we didn't have the right tools, I kind of had to make up my own, but I'm going to get these things pushed out, these little push pins pushed out, start taking these screws out, and then from there, everything just pops off from that standpoint. So, uh, probably gonna speed it up or whatever. All right, so now we got all the bolts out of it. So it should just kind of just pop out at this point. I ain't gonna lie to you. You gotta give it a good little tug to get it off of here, man. I ain't gonna lie, I got kind of nervous trying to pull it off, but once you get it, the first one off, everything just kind of just pops off like that. I tug it on a little bit and everything just pops off like that. And that is the old one out. And of course, my hands a little dirty. Should put some gloves on, which I'm probably gonna put some gloves on for the next one. So. That's what it looks like without it. So I'm going to get the other diffuser unpacked. And I'm actually going to clean my hands and get some gloves on and put the other one on. So. All right, so I got some gloves because I didn't want to get my hands too dirty. But here's the gloss black one that I'm going to pop on here, which it looks like all the holes should line up. You got four holes down here for the for the bolts. You got two holes on the outside for the, uh, for the push pins. And then everything else just clips in. So we're going to get that done. And that's the old one. Yeah, you want to know what the old one. So this one's definitely gonna look much more aggressive, uh, much more cleaner. Um, even though it is uh, aftermarket price, they're gonna look pretty factory for this type of car. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this put on and we should be done, man. This should actually be uh, installed, actually went according to plan. Cause y'all know sometimes I'll be doing stuff and stuff don't be lined up. But you remember that tool I was talking about actually, I need more tools guys. Cause I had to, I had to find and dig for this just to make that work. I need to buy some more tools. Cause it looks like I don't have everything I need at all times. So let me go ahead and get this thing popped on. Um, we should be done, right? We should be done. So hopefully it goes plain. Guys, I know what I'm talking about. When I try to do a mod and it takes longer than it expected. <laughs> I'm trying to get this thing popped back on, bro. I've been out here busting and tussling with this thing, man. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so I had to take a little break and get my mind right. Cause I, yeah, it's just the thing is trying to get these tabs popped back in. And then from there, uh, we should be good at that point. But. And like I said, I gotta get the tabs popped back in. So I'm gonna fight with this with some more and then I'll get back to y'all. Uh, all right guys, let me be real with y'all, man. So I jinxed myself and did exactly what I thought was gonna happen here, man. I, this thing is, is, is kicking my ass. So I said at the beginning of the video, watch this thing take forever to put on. And the issue I'm having is I can't get everything to pop back in. So I done looked up and asked a couple of people who put this on and they even said their tabs and stuff don't line up. So the issue I'm having is I can't get all my tabs to line them. So what I might have to do is try to get one in and in and then work my way back to the middle and try to do it that way. Or I might have to take that pin, that push pin off that end and try to get it that way. Because man, I'm telling you, I am, I'm getting killed by this thing, man. And, uh, and when you're working with plastic that's been mass produced and molded, sometimes that's what you might run into with stuff not lining up as it should. But uh, yeah, I had to sit here and put myself in time out for about 30 minutes trying to get my mind back right to tackle this thing again because this should be easy. This, this should be easy, but it's not. And here we are still fighting with it. So uh, I can see my face right now, but I, I like I've been through it with this thing. This shouldn't take this long, but here we are. Getting ass kicked by another mod. All right, guys, I got a face pack now. It's time for me to face packs. And this is probably the first time I had to do this. I ain't even gonna work on this rest of the day, man. I'm done working this for the day. Um, Cause I've already, you know, I kind of do most of the things at one time. I did a tent today, so I've been outside with the garage all day and whatnot. I'm really just gonna leave the car like this until tomorrow and work on it then. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just leaving. I'm, the car's gonna stay like this um, overnight. So um, yeah, I pick y'all back up tomorrow when I've had a chance to sleep and take a shower and get my thoughts together, cause this shouldn't be that hard, but yet here I am. I done jinxed myself with another mod and this one is getting on my nerves. I think I know what I need to do, but I'm just getting sick and tired of baking in the sun on this. So I pick y'all back up on the next day. All right, all right. So now we're on day two of trying to put this diffuser on. So, uh, so pretty much, man, I needed to um, get out this hot garage and just forget about it for the whole evening. So we're still gonna try to put this on. Um, my different approach I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try getting the left side on first and hopefully we can get the whole thing on, but uh, we're gonna see how this thing play out. Uh, like I said, this should only have taken 10 minutes and here we are day two trying to get this thing on. So uh, if I can't get on, I'm gonna throw this thing out in the yard somewhere. Else. But uh, all right, let's go get back to it again. 
Also, I actually looked at a whole bunch of videos last night on how to put this on, trying to see if there's some kind of tip or trick to put this on. And it seems like every, all the videos I saw was like three minutes long. Like they all just popped the old one off, put the new one on, and that was it. And we got somebody, hopefully y'all can hear me over this lawnmower. So I didn't see a video really that said this was hard to put on. Like every video I saw made it seem like this was very easy to put on. And so here we are and it's not easy. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. Seeing the issue I'm seeing, see like these tabs opening that where the child's supposed to go in don't really line up exactly with that. So hopefully I can get close enough where they would go in, but we're gonna see. And uh, let's fight with this thing one more time before I have to put the other one on. Cause I gotta go to work in the morning and I'm not about to drive around with this thing off of there. So uh, let's fight with it, see what we get. All right, so I wanna to explain to y'all what I'm running into here. So what I'm seeing here is the tabs that's supposed to click into those holes I'm saying, don't look like they line up. So if I start on one side, the further I go across trying to get these to pop in, and slowly start getting off, like you see right here, you see right there how the tab doesn't necessarily line up exactly with the point it needs to pop into. So that's the issue I'm running into. So if I put the side in, the side goes in pretty decent. Well, if I start on one side or the other side, it, it goes in pretty easy. But the further I go down, it starts to have issues with the tab not going in. So like right now, this side is clipped in, but the further and further I go down, it gets harder and harder to get it in there. So that, I mean, that's how it looks right now as it sits, but it's not all clipped in. So I'm gonna finagle it some, hopefully I get it close enough where I can get at least the bolts in there to hold it in. And maybe that'd be enough force to keep everything in there. So. We're gonna see, let me play with it some more. All right, so I'm gonna show you a little bit more why this thing ain't lining up like it should be. So if you look under here, there's a hole, you see it just pop back out. It should, this should go all the way to the end, and this hole should line up with that hole here. Which on that, see, and all it just pop back out. But if you go to this side, let me show you the other side here, and how. This side over here, see, like if I put it back in there, the holes line back up and, and it's much closer on this side. So it's like it's not perfectly symmetrical. It's like it's shifted, it's like, it's pretty much like this thing is like shifted one way or another. Like it's not wide enough to go on here. Before you want to say, did you get the right one? Yes, I got the right one. This is worldwide body, but it doesn't seem like it lines up perfectly. That's the issue I'm running to, which make it this way harder than it needs to be. So this is what I figure out what I'm gonna do. Yes, I have the car jacked up. Um, so what I'm end up doing here, since I told you guys like, the holes everywhere line up, right? Everything lines up. But this hole right here is off. Like it needs to go up about a half an inch. And I've been pushing it um, right there. I need to see, see the hole there. And this needs to line up with that. And I've been pushing it like crazy. And no matter how hard I push it, I can't get the line up here. So what I may end up doing here is I may try and get it close as I can and maybe drill in the hole uh, here to help close it off and secure it on this end because that's the only way I'm seeing trying to get things secure that is a big to me a big move to get a thing there it's like it's getting close but every time it gets close it pops back out so I'm gonna try to play with it a little bit longer and if I don't get it to that hole then I'm drilling the hole so that's where we at I'm already at that point so let's see what happens all right so I'm gonna call this guy I'm gonna show you what it looks like now so I ain't up I ended up uh, going on this side and drilling the hole here because it wasn't lined up exactly right now. As far as the fitment on it, it's still, I feel it's, it's like, it's still about 10% not there. Like I'd say it's 90% on there. It's the only issue I'm having is that I feel like this side over here doesn't click in as good. I feel like it starts popping out some, but over here, it fits pretty snug. I think you can see on this side here, how that fits, it's really snug. And then the further it goes over here, seems like it sticks out a little bit more. You can see right there how it should go in a little bit more. But I've been fighting this thing to get it all the way in. I mean, the only other option I feel like I can do to make it fit snug all the way across is to probably go in here like that and like drill drill a hole and put like a some kind of washer or, or screw there to hold it back like that. So this part doesn't pop off, but uh, that's about as close as I get it. I mean, I like the look of it. I just hate that it doesn't fit as flush as I want it to fit. So that's where we at with it. Um, and, I, and like I said, I looked at a few videos of this and it, it no one really called out the fitment issue on this. So every video was like, it was really easy to do. And y'all can see the struggle I had with mine and how it still doesn't really click in on this side like I want to. Like I don't want to drive down the road and then 
pops right back off or something like that. I mean, it's got screws holding it in, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna go test drive it, but that's all I had here. If you got any tips um, to help get this thing flush, please put some comments down below because I'd love to hear it. Uh, I'll definitely try it or whatnot because I definitely want it to be a little bit more flush or anything you had to do if you had to install one of these. But that's all I got today, man. I'm sick of messing with this thing. That is it for today's video. We're gonna catch you on the next one. We're out. Cut it.